Now, the Nicole Fitzsimons Foundation has their colourful ball coming up this month. Nicole's legacy uh, lives on after almost three years ago she was killed in a horrific motorbike accident in Thailand and as well as helping others to fill their life aspirations. Now, the foundation also raises awareness of travel safety among young Aussies. Yeah, Nick's sister Kate's on the line to tell us about this fantastic foundation that's been, well, I don't know, how, is it three years now, Kate? Nearly three years. Yeah, yeah, well, it's just about two and a half now. So it's mm. um, been a huge, huge journey. But um, it, it, it's amazing to see that the, the way the foundation um, has flourished over the, over the years, thanks to um, wonderful support, um, particularly yeah, from you guys in the NRL community and beyond. So. Kate, having been involved in similar things like this before, there, there are a lot of work. Do you sometimes think, oh, gee, I've, we've taken on a bit too much here, or, or is it something that you really enjoy doing? Of course, there are um, plenty of overwhelming moments, um, you know, organising big events like this. But I always say it just takes one look at a photo of Nicole and seeing her smile again and, um, mm. you know, it's all worth it. So that's mm. where we dig deep and find our passion to, to keep going. And pe so, as I said, so many people have outreached their hands um, to help us along the way and that's where we are today. Okay, take us through what, what your role is. I, I know I've seen you a couple of times. You go out to schools and you, you have a great, fantastic presentation to the, to the kids. I mean, you, you must get a great deal of satisfaction out of it, I reckon. Oh, definitely. It, it's helped my heart to, to heal in ways that I never thought I, I it would. And, and, and just seeing even I got uh, last week, I got a message from a student that I've spoken with and he was skydiving in New Zealand and he did a love heart that I do with all the kids. He was doing it while free falling from the sky in New Zealand mm. saying, I still remember Nicole and think of her often and, and it's really changed the way, you know, I've travelled overseas and that. And just to see months and months later that kids are still remembering it and carrying, you know, those eye-opening messages that I share with them, um, it means the world to me and um, most of all, yeah, it's just beautiful to see Nicole's legacy live on in the hearts of many all mm. around Australia. Well, she was a beautiful girl, Nicole. As, well, some people out there probably wouldn't know. She worked on the footy show, went away for a holiday with a boyfriend, you know, nearly three years ago now and, and didn't return, which is just devastating for everyone involved, you know, particularly the family, you know, you, mum and dad, Vince and Julie and everything. It's just a horrendous thing to happen. But, you know, if, if something positive has come out of it, it's the fact that you are going around and, and doing these presentations and trying to save lives. And, I, you know what, I think you probably have already saved some lives just from what you've done. Yeah, thank you, Daryl. I do want to pass out my condolences to um, Adam, Adam Tedder's, Pepper's family. Um, mm. Just read of his tragic passing. And, again, I read that his mum said, you know, please do not get on motorbikes over there without helmets if I can just save one life. And it's exactly exactly how we feel and what's motivated me yeah to leave my corporate career and absolutely throw my heart and soul into this campaign and and it, like i said if i can just save one life one family from um the heartache that mm. we've been through um and also if, if anything it's just teaching people how precious life is so appreciate Absol every single day absolutely now tell us about this colorful ball i know i actually hosted one a few years ago and yeah. and i know aaron has been doing it i think aaron's doing this one as well She's tell back. us a little bit about it Erin's back is she? yes she is of course <laughs> we loved it so much we had to get we had to get her back and yeah. she does a wonderful job of hosting the night so it is on the saturday the 21st of march at the roundhouse in kensington in sydney so yeah. um yeah this night is all about um, having fun, I like to say, and celebrating Nicole's love of life, of course, and raising funds to help us continue the work that I do with the foundation and assist, you know, um, upcoming performing artists and sports people. So um, it is $150 a ticket, of course, including canapes, dinner and drinks and some great entertainment. But we do have a, um, a special for Sunday session listeners where they can purchase them for 100 and forty dollars each by emailing the foundation, um, foundation at nicolefitzsimons.com, which is all on our website if they like further details. But um, yeah, we've got some pretty special auction prizes up for grabs. Um, we're organising a special one with the NRL that we're still finalising, so I can't quite announce that yet. Yep. But we do have a great major um, raffle prize. Um, Affinity Jewelers have kindly donated diamond stud earrings valued at three thousand dollars. So um, we've got a great raffle, um, you know, tickets are on sale via um, our website for that as well. And we'll be donate, um, announcing some more grants and looking back at over, you know, some that we've helped come true for people along the way. We even got over the year, last year we flew over um, an, an our, um, a rugby league player from New York, from the Brooklyn right. Kings. They actually wear the foundation logo on their jerseys playing over there because the guy who's helped set it up did know Nicole and knows how much she would love to see 
rugby league um, growing around the world because it was her greatest passion. So yeah. he absolutely had a ball getting to see professional football being played um, and learn a lot from that. So it's all about, yeah, growing, um, you know, passionate and gifted sports people who just need that bit of extra financial assistance to um, help make their dreams come true. So, uh, yeah, but beautiful. more than anything, it's all about having fun, dancing, laughing, yep. and, of course, a bit of drinking. I can recommend <laughs> it. It's a fantastic night, uh, Kate. I, I know it. I've been there. I've been to the first one, and it was just sensational. Uh, tickets are $150 each. You can do that by emailing foundation at NicoleFitzsimons.com, or you can contact. There's a phone number here. I hope you're you okay if I give the phone number out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mum said go go ahead. Okay. It's 0450 929 655. It's on the 21st of March 2015 at the Roadhouse, University of New South Wales. That's at Kensington's. Kicks off at 6.30. If anyone's interested, it's $150 per person or $1,400 for a table of 10. They're a fantastic organisation. Erin Marlin, the MC. It'll be a great night. Good luck with it, Kate, and keep up the good work. Well done. Thank you, and well done on a great um, season of Sunday session. It's always <laughs> blasting through the, the Fitzy household and bring on the 2015 season. Eh? I hope the Dragons go well for the whole yes, family. Yeah, go Good the Mighty you. Dragons. <laughs> Thanks, Good on guys. you, Kate. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Kate. Fitzsimons joining us from the Nicole Fitzsimons Foundation. Uh, I guess the other thing to really point out, Big Man, like whilst this is a an event uh, to raise money and mm. raise awareness. It is a 365-day-a-year thing for the Fitzsimons family oh. to, to bring attention to, uh, you know, a lot of issues uh, with, you know, travel uh, safety well, amongst young people, you know, overseas. Ryan, it, it is such a big... It is such a big issue. You know, the, the kids go over there for the, you know, schoolies and things like that. They go to Bali and Thailand, wherever they go. You know, and in those places, as you know, anyone who's ever been to those places know how danger it is on the motorbikes and the traffic mm. is just chaotic you know and and you know poor you know the, fam the Fitzsimons family when, when Nicole was was killed it was just a horrendous time for all of us who whoever knew her she's a lovely beautiful girl vivacious uh, great dancer etc etc and and the family are doing a wonderful job in, in keeping her legacy alive you know I mean and they're, and they're doing a fantastic job and, I, and as I said to Kate before I've got absolutely no doubt they've probably saved some lives mm. just from Kate going around to schools showing videos and and just you know telling the kids who you know at that age 17 or 16 or 17 what, what they what they need to do just to be sensible and she's not preaching to them or no. you know bashing the table saying you've got to do this you just just have a think about what you're doing you know you're responsible for your actions and you know and as, as she said if you can just save one life it's all worthwhile and she's they're doing a fantastic job they're a great family so if you're interested ladies and gentlemen i do recommend it if you can get there um, 150 per person 1400 100, for 140 table. though for 140. sunday session listeners absolutely